25 years, more than 10 minutes here, more than 84. Good morning, fellas in the building. And of course, right about now, we have to check in with our, well, not our eye in the sky. This one is our, is our sports correspondent, right? Romy, 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 the player for the representing for Sideline Sports DNC. We're going to be talking about, uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about the NBA. I know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure there might be some other things that we're going to catch up on. What's going on, Romy? Hey, dog of the morning, man. Big L. Good morning, Bombers. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bombers. Turning stories from the sidelines and the headlines here only on 194.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this way back Wednesday. Big L. going to hop into our sporting report from the local side. Hey, um, student athletes, uh, kids, parents, hey, don't forget getting ready for the Bombers um, Balling by the Beach virtual basketball camp that actually starts on August 24th. It's going to be until the 28th. It's free via Zoom. It's going to be a virtual basketball camp, man. The first one of its kind here for the Bahamas. It's open to males and females ages 5 to 19. And, um, again, just some of, the, some of the coaches that are going to be involved with, um, with the camp. Um, again, it's just a, a slew of them. Chris DeMarco from, from the Golden State Warriors. Uh, Coach Bacchus Rowell here from the University of Bahamas. Coach Sanchez Moss, um, Marvin Henfield, um, again, just a slew of talent and co talented coaches to hear, you know, to conduct some of the training sessions. So, again, go ahead to bbfbasketball.com slash vbc. Again, that's bbfbasketball.com slash Victor Dwight Charlie to register and get signed up, man. I'm um, looking forward to it. Uh, now on to some international sports. Of course, Miguel, just like you said, hey, this NBA season, man, um, it looks like the playoffs, yeah, it's, it's happening. They're doing their thing. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, some just to look at the scoreboard from last night, um, we got the Magic and the Bucks, 122 to 110. The Magic coming out on top over the Milwaukee Bucks, man. So um, it looks as if contribute that to a bad game, or or would you say the the Orlando Magic actually have what it takes to 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 take it to the box? Um, man, from what I'm seeing, right, and I I okay. First of all, I gotta state I still don't. I'm still not impressed with the play. I guess with the style of play for a lot of the teams that are in the bubble. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it looks like the Magic. It looks like the Magic might actually knock the Bucks out of there with Giannis. Wow. Yeah, with Giannis. Wow. I don't think the Magic have what it takes to go in, you know, to be the second round team, but they might get lucky. And yeah, I, I think they. That would be a, that would be a major upset, bro. That would change the MVP talk. That would change every everything yeah. for Giannis. Boy, I, I, I did watch some of the game. I watched some of the highlights, and I just I really liked how Orlando played team ball, man. They, they yeah. stuck to uh, fundamentals and found it, and that's how they beat them. It wasn't yeah. even nothing superb, no yeah. no superstar breakout. Like they played team ball, yeah. and they they beat another team. Like it was a, a, a nice, it was a good game. It was a good game. All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to get oh. to a particular game. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Heat, the Pacers. The Heat came out on top of that game, 113 to 101. Of course, Jimmy Butler and Drag and and Dragic, yeah, 28 and 24 points respectively. Um, the other games on the schedule: the Thunder and the Rockets. The Rockets 123 to 108. Yeah, man. Um, James Harden went off in that game. Um, yeah, you know, 37, yeah, you know, 37 points in that game. Eric Gordon with 21 points. So yeah, it looks like they're doing their thing. And then I know the game that you want to talk about, the Trailblazers and the Lakers. So Yo. yeah, all your Lakers fans. I know. Boy. Yo. See, I think a lot of people didn't they 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 forgot mm -hmm. like the Blazers aren't normally like an eight seeded team. Yeah, they are yeah. normally high up in the playoffs. So, yeah. so once they got in, they leveled mm -hmm. the playing field automatically. Like, who yeah. would want to face the Blazers in the first round? Yeah, you know, yeah. like that's not that's not something any team would want to wish for. And last yeah. night they showed it. They yeah. literally showed it, bro. Yeah. Like I watched that game and I was like, yo, mm -hmm. the Blazers 
because 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 it's not like it's not like the Lakers don't have a solid team. The Lakers have mm. a pretty good team. They have three seven foot players that they can bring back that old school style of basketball. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and even though they played hard and they tried, mm. I mean, mind you, like AD had an off night. You know what I mean? He wasn't really playing his best and all that stuff like that. And LeBron did what LeBron does, but he could have turned yeah. up that intensity some more as well. So mm. I won't take that away from the fact that they could have done better, but. I'm pretty sure there's some things about the Blazers that they wish they did better as well. So this is going to be a really good series. Like of all the series that I've seen so yeah. far, I think this Blazers Lakers series, this is going to be one of the hardest ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Even just talking about some of the scoring last night, um, Dan with 34 points, CJ McCullough with 21 points. Um, even Melo threw, threw up 11 points in that year where um, I think he's, you know, something I know in the past, you know, I kind of trashed off Melo as well, yeah, but it looks yeah, as though yeah. it looks as though he he's being you know at least a stable part there yeah, for for them. In these I, games. I want I want I want one of these games. If even mm -hmm. if it's the next game, I want Melo to go off, bro. Like I want Melo to actually like outshine <laughs> outshine uh, 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 and CJ. Like especially knowing that he's playing against LeBron, you know they were one yeah. and two from the draft time in high yeah, school. Yeah. They were competitive. Like I want yeah. Melo to go off and still show everybody I can compete yeah. with LeBron. I yeah. want him to have a game like that, bro. Like I think that would make my series even better. Like I, I that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully uh, it happens. But uh, I was just gonna say I know. I think you might be asking for a little bit too much now. Let's let, <laughs> let's just keep it in Melo doing good, okay? <laughs> hey, uh, so today's way back Wednesday, man. So, Big L, I, I know you was always saying I'd be going back way back, right? So, I pulled this one up from 1995. And there's somebody who I'm sure even the young, even the millennials know this guy. So, in 1995, Mike Tyson, he returned to the ring, took on Peter McNeely, and actually called, the fight was called in 38 seconds into the first round. Wow. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know if you remember that fight, but McNeely's corner threw in the towel he was yeah it was yeah After i was actually 38 watching. seconds yeah into or oh, 38 seconds left in the first round yeah okay wow uh, early, you know he was i and mike i guess they, yeah. they looked at it like this guy ain't making it to the second round. yeah 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 <laughs> and that's now like wrap I, that I, up. I was watching it. You could see like McNeely was all excited, and then after that, after he got that stunner, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> all right, Jerome. Thank you for your sports tip and uh, for all your sports notes this morning. I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. When uh, you think it's going to be any more upsets? You think it's going to be any more upsets tomorrow? I mean, oh, you can't call nobody. You can't call nobody. Boy, yeah, this one. This one, I, I, I don't know if I can say it here. There'll be no more upsets. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the games tonight, man. Definitely looking forward to the games tonight. All right, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all keep it out. Talk to me. myself for the Bahamas Superstation. Big L's in the building. And uh, some business instrumental in the background. We might as well go outside, man. That's Viking Ding Dong. We outside. More intimidating on more 94. Good morning. <laughs>